we have a derivative of an inverse uh, hyperbolic trig function. I know that's a mouthful to say. So let's rewrite our function. Now this whole thing is one function. It's four letters long and a negative first power, which means inverse. Uh, we have x to the one-fifth power. Uh, it's written as a fifth root, but that means a one-fifth power. And we definitely going to be needing the chain rule here. So let's go ahead and take derivative. Now, first problem is, what in the heck is the derivative of tangent hyperbolic inverse? Well, we'll go back to the textbook for that. We're in 2.9. Um, if you're not in 2.9, just get in there real quick by clicking on the little bookmark panel. So here's the definition. All right, you might be tempted to use these, but the problem with using this right here is this is the hyperbolic tangent whose derivative is hyperbolic secant squared. However, what did we have? We had the inverse hyperbolic tangent. Okay, so we got to keep scrolling. Uh, now our problem is not too different from part A, except of course we have an inverse function. So we're going to keep scrolling, 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 scrolling. All right, so okay, getting warmer. Inverse tangent hyperbolic. Somewhere we're going to see a derivative right here. Okay, so I'm going to write this down. So it's 1 over 1 minus x squared. So it's a textbook, and of course I didn't remember what page, 248. So we have d dx tan hyperbolic inverse x equals 1 over 1 plus x squared. That can't be right. 1 minus x squared. I knew it wasn't right because that would have been the regular inverse tangent derivative, not the hyperbolic inverse tangent derivative. Okay, so we're finally ready to take derivative. Here we go. All right, we're gonna go outermost part. So we're taking derivative of this. Outermost part, written like this, is pretty clear that it's that right there. Okay, so the derivative is one over one minus this thing squared. Times the chain rule. So chain rule, so we do derivative of x to the one-fifth which is 1 fifth x. Now, if you're bad with fractions, five out of four people are bad at fractions, so be careful here. I'm gonna subtract uh, one, which is a five fifths. So I didn't actually subtract it in my head, I just wrote it as a subtraction right there. So how do we do power of a power? We multiply, so 1 fifth times two, is two fifths. If you're ever in doubt, remember uh, what does squared mean? It means times itself. And what do you do with powers? When you multiply, you add them. So one fifth plus one fifth is two fifths. So you can check that in a variety of ways. Here's one way to do it. Okay. One fifth minus five fifths is negative Oops, x to the negative four fifths. I can write a better five. Okay. All right. One over. You can rewrite this. You can put the one fifth in front. Uh, one minus x to the two fifths. One over x to the positive four fifths because I reciprocated it. Uh, if you really, really, really want to get fancy with showing off your algebra skills. Uh, just to warn you, the more uh, algebra you do, the higher chance there is you make a mistake. But we'll go ahead and distribute this uh, 4 fifths in. x to the 4 fifths minus 2 fifths plus 4 fifths is 6 fifths. Whew. All right, good times. So that is our... Uh, derivative with a whole lot of fun algebra at the end.